Nike's doing two things on their website to share some of the collections to customers. And so I'm going to break down what they're doing and how you can add this to your website. So if we notice here, the first thing that they have is a slider. You click through the slider here and you can actually take a look at some of their collection. In this case, it's some of their old classic shoes that they have. You can look at the airbags, blazer, Jordans, Dunks, Air Forces. But you see here that they have all these collections in a slider that a customer can quickly look through. They see a collection that matches their interest. They click on one of the items and now they have a chance to actually look through all of the products in that collection. Because let's say a store like Nike has probably hundreds of different collections. So of course they can't put every single collection in the navigation menu like this in the line. So you see now that they're using a mega menu. This mega menu is these drop down links here, right? They can't put all the different collections in one line because over a hundred links would take up the whole space. So they instead put them into these smaller links. But unless you hover here, right, you're not even gonna see Air Max. You might not even see all these different Air Maxes here, all these different options here. You won't see them until you hover. So that's why it's a great idea to actually showcase some of them, like what Nike has done on the homepage with a slider that a customer can just quickly slide through because now you're creating more opportunities for customers to see things that they might otherwise not have seen. In this case with the slider, I believe it's five items, if I'm not mistaken, that you can slide through and take a look. So it's very simple, but it's a great way to bring more awareness to some of these products and especially collections on your website. The next thing that they're doing is if you come down here, now they're doing shop by sport. So it's a little bit of the same thing. You notice here, they don't actually have the different sports listed up here. It's not until you hover that you might see, for instance, you hover under men, you see the different sports, under a woman, see the different sports. But you don't see it until you hover. But let's say you're sliding through the homepage or you're scrolling through the homepage, you come to shop by sport, all of a sudden now you can see the different sports, the different collections here on the website. Again, bring awareness to these different collections here. So let's say again, now, okay, you come down here, you're interested in training. So now you click on training. Now, okay, access the map. Hold on, let's reload that. Let's come back here. Okay, let's click on basketball and see if that works. Okay, so they will issue that button. So you click on that, and now it takes you to these products you can scroll through and look through. So these are just two things that you can do to help bring awareness to the different products, collections on your Shopify website, two different sliders that you can use. You can use different collections as well. You can use grades. You can, there's many different ways that you can play around with this to be able to showcase um, the different collections. At the end of the day, especially if you have a lot of collections, this is a great way to help share some of these different product collections on the Shopify website. So I hope this video was helpful to kind of give you some ideas of what you can do on your website to help bring awareness. If you have any questions or you'd like help implementing this on your website, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Feel free to get in touch. All my information is down below. And if you're looking for digital assets or templates to help you with your Shopify website or your online business in, ge in general, my Etsy store link is also down below as well. Everything from order forms, templates, thank you cards, different things that you can use for your online business. Feel free to check these out as well. And once again, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.